Hi, sweethearts, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Elachilaka, the Queen Abuna of the Ashanti Kingdom, Ghana. On today's episode of Things That Can Never Happen in Ghana, a young businessman has been unalived by a member of the Nigerian police force because of 200 naira bribe. What is this? It's not even bribe, extortion, because I mean, when you want to give a bribe, it means you've done something wrong and you're trying to cover up, so you bribe your way through. This one is that he was innocent. They found nothing on him. They wanted to forcefully take 200 naira. He didn't give them and he was shot at close range. The lives of innocent citizens do not mean anything to the country called Nigeria. It's really heartbreaking. This young man was a married man. Now, the innocent young lady has been turned to by first widow with two cute little kids. Hmm. A man that woke up in the morning and went about his business, he didn't make it home because there is a country that is lawless. Because there is a country where lives of the innocent citizens do not matter. A lawless country, a lawless giant of Africa. This can never happen in Ghana. Ever. It's not possible. I've never heard of it. Please, if you have ever heard of such thing in Ghana, kindly share links in the comment section for me. Share the story. If you've ever experienced it in Ghana, I love to state facts. I don't I don't like them say. The Nigerian police are always trigger happy. There are terrorists disturbing the whole nation all over. But these people don't go to show their tactics, shooting tactics and strength and power there. They unleash this heartlessness and their expertise when it comes to shooting only on innocent citizens, unarmed citizens, unprovoked, they will shoot you for something as small as 100 naira, 200 naira. There was a young man that was killed in Asaba last year. Because of 100 naira, they shot him. He was driving, they shot him, 100 naira. I do not know how they do this when it comes to employing Nigerian police, employing the men into the Nigerian police. I thought they, they attend, uh, they are supposed to pass through police academy, something like that. At least, just like a university, there has to be a school for police training, evaluation, psychologically, mentally. There, there, has to be, there have to be rules and regulations that they have to pass through, obey, more like practical exams and all that. I think, I think they, they are supposed to pass through mental evaluations before they are able to be honored with the uniform and say, okay, now you are a certified police man. These people are always high. They're always smoking weed. They're always drinking alcohol. They're always on drugs. They're always high. And they shoot at just anything and anyone. So many people have lost their lives in the hands of the uniformed men who are supposed to be protecting them. And I, I ask, which way Nigeria? The people that are supposed to find solace and safety in their hands end up losing their lives in the hands of the police. Why? For how long will this continue? 
For how long will it continue? I ask again because this is really heartbreaking. This young man left his house health and had healthy. Nothing was wrong with him. Imagine the pain the woman will go through, the wife will go through, the kids will go through, knowing that their father, her husband, lost his life because a, a, a policeman could not let go of 200 naira, which he didn't. Like these people make it look like they give you money to hold for them, like it is their right. Look at that embarrassing video of that white lady that was riding bicycle, that was traveling through the African countries. She passed through Ghana. They, she, what the Ghana policeman was asking her was her number. So they can be in touch. Nigerian police was asking her money. Give me money. Money. Give me money. The most embarrassing clip I watched that period. I was so ashamed to be associated with that country. How long? How do they do these things? Is it that they just give anybody uniform and dash them gone and say, go, go and shoot, start shooting people? Are there not supposed to be some kind of evaluations, medical checks, mental, psychological checks before they can be certified and put in such positions? Why is it that this, this country just indirectly keeps killing their citizens through uniform men. Why? The other time, Bonner Boy's escort, police escort, shot a man in the club. Bonner Boy made advances at his wife. One thing led to another, and his police escort shot the man Why even would a policeman be armed in a nightclub? Was there justice for the man? Your answer is as good as mine. Is Bonaboy not working freely? The country where money is what makes you to know if you can obey the law or not. Everybody wants to be above the law. As far as you have money to throw around, you are ready, be, be, be free. Feel free to serve anything, brutality, injustice, just serve it. Your money will set you free. Is that a country? I am worried. The reason I'm worried is because I have kids. Yeah, good thing I'm, I'm, I've left the country. I don't have plans of, you know, returning to Nigeria to reside ever again but then i also have people who have kids who are still in nigeria i see people say oh you're no more in nigeria so leave us alone to photo no i cannot leave nigerian issue alone because i still have people there i still have friends with their families there it can be anybody anybody can be a victim of these police children are being in asaba the other time Policemen shot, shot, straight bullet hit two kids. And the woman, the man just lost his family just like that. How many we won't count? The other time, one 16 years old girl was shot by the police. The other time, one other lady that was waiting for her admission was shot by the police. How many people do we, should we count and how many should we omit? Nigerian police, which way? How long is this going to continue? Nigerian youths, you people should sit up. You people should start talking. The internet is a powerful place right now. Social media is a powerful place right now. Use your voice. Since going um, physical to protest, you end your lives. Please. Talk, on talk online. If possible, use faceless IDs, um, use faceless channels, use faceless social media handles, and speak up. We cannot keep suffering and smiling. We cannot keep making caricature of this whole thing and people keep losing their lives all the time. We can do better. 
You can never see this in Ghana. It can never happen in Ghana. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, I, my confidence, the way I am confident about Ghana police, until I'm proven wrong. Show me where Ghana police, they brutalize anybody, no. Show me where Ghana police, they extort citizens of money. You don't bring uh, one CD, you don't bring two CD, they shoot you. Ghana police go stab you, no, you go cock gun for your, for your face. He go tell you, bring money, or I shoot you now, nothing go happen. And he go shoot you and nothing go happen. It cannot happen in Ghana. Ghana is a country that obey their law. They take their law seriously. Even here in Benin Republic, it cannot happen. Hey, Ghana, Benin police can never point gun at your face because they are mentally evaluated before they became the members of the police. They know that pointing a gun at somebody instantly traumatizes the person. Nigerian police will point a gun at a boy, point a gun at a small girl, point a gun at adult, point a gun at old woman, point a gun at old man. They point guns at everybody. Please, how long is this supposed to be continued? How long is this supposed to go on till the government does something about it? It can be you. Next. It can be anybody. It can be somebody close to you. It can be somebody you love. It can be anybody. Nigerian police does not check gender or age to shoot. They can shoot anybody if you're like, be a baby. They shoot. Be an adult. They shoot. No justice. Few days, people will just do hashtag justice for this person. You'd be so the matter will just die before you know it. Like this policeman now that has shot this guy. If they just take one and shoot him too, police, other policemen would... Their brain go reset. This is where jungle justice is supposed to be applied, but no. If somebody thief maggie or bread, you know, they go put them tire burn them. But Nigerian police go shoot innocent citizens unarmed, unprovoked, and nothing will happen. Since the country like jungle justice so much, why can't you do it when you the policeman that did this to this young man gather him to do the same thing that he did to the man? And other policemen will sit up. But no, he will still go scot free and continue his shooting spree. How long is this supposed to continue? Please, we have to do something. The government, Nigerian government, you people should do something about this. That is why it's as if I'm over proud of Ghana. I am proud of Ghana. I love Ghana. Like, I love Ghana so much. I talk I'm no, I go marry five husbands for Ghana. The way I love the country, why husband, you don't go reach yourself. It'd be five. <laughs> Please, if this is your first time on my channel, you're welcome. I'm the Ohema Buna of Ashanti Kingdom. Mm? Yes, so please hit that subscribe button for me and turn on my notifications so that whenever I post a video, you get notified. Give me some thumbs up and engage in my comment section. Give me ideas, what you think that should be done, what you think that this Nigerian system needs to, needs to do for the police to start behaving better. Please, Ghanaians, can you people give them Expo? No? Expo, it be, I don't know how to explain it in Ghana, where you, you go set an exam for you, no? and then you write you write uh, the answer already from your notes or textbook and hide. So if you enter exam hobby, you can peep through the you can peep through the thing no, that you write and answer correctly. So you push you give Nigeria Expo how they for do make the Nigerian police system get sanitized and start functioning to protect and serve the citizens instead of killing them and extorting them, raping them, murdering them, abusing them, molesting them unnecessarily, causing them pain. If you know the number of families that Nigerian police have given heartbreak, you will, sh you will be shocked. Please, you push, you give me, give them some suggestions be from the in the comment section so they can apply and see if that country can have small hope, small, small, tiny hope. Be. Mm? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your day and I wish you a blissful week ahead. Mwah.